Hi and welcome to Easy Fishing. Um, I was desperate to get out of the house and I haven't been out for three weeks other than to the corner shop. So I thought I need some exercise. Where shall I go? Let's go down to the local So here we have a delightful small river that I confess I've never fished even though it's close to my home and uh, I thought what better place to take a walk than down by the river away from people and uh, the birds are singing and uh, everything looks great anyway let's continue with the walk the stream is about oh, 20 feet wide I suppose I can see the bottom but uh, not excessive weed growth at this time of year. Well, here we have a section where it's slightly narrower, slightly faster flowing, and slightly deeper. Looks like it could be a good trotting place come summer or winter, but I guess getting to the water in the summer will be a problem, as there is some serious beds of nettles and I guess they'll have thick weed growth. Well, it's a spot to mark down for future reference. And uh, here we have another in a narrow stretch and my bank looks like it's got some kind of barrier, wooden one. But more interestingly, it's a small bush with a couple of feet of water underneath it. So it might be worth an investigation. Now this section, just below a bush, not a fair pace on it, it's nice and straight. There's access from this bank. Looks like that could be a good choice of swim. Now just here, if I pan round further downstream, there are two platforms that have been built over the river with um, handrails and stuff probably for disabled people to sit on and look at the river it could make very useful spots to fish from now this looks promising a section of the far bank has been collapsed and brought in by floods and has had the effect of narrowing the stream right down and the pace is considerably quicker yeah it's probably shallow oh yes it is here it's very narrow less than 10 feet across from the reeds to the reeds Though you can see the river was considerably wider and deeper at one point. Must have been lovely 50 years ago this stream. Yes, and it's given way to uh, some shallows. If I was a barbel, could be a good spawning area. But I don't think there's barbel in here unfortunately. Yes, absolutely exquisite little area, fast flowing shallows and uh, a clean gravel bottom in places, in most places, and that runs off downstream for a while. So we'll carry on investigating. So here you get an idea of how shallow it is. That duck is just standing there and ducking its head down on the shallows. Obviously plenty of food. Now with its combination of fast shallow glides and steadier, deeper sections, you'd almost think this was a trout stream, wouldn't you? Looks lovely. I'll wait to get back here and fish it. So uh, this is the next open access bit I've found. 
uh, very shallow fire bank is collapsing over there during floods and uh, although it's shallow it looks like it tapers off into deeper water there so gain fishing possibilities now uh, here's the next accessible section quite narrow 10 feet wide and uh, there's quite a lot of fish disturbance and I've seen odd fish but without my polarizing glasses on I can't identify them and I would imagine that this in summer uh, would be difficult to access so it's probably a winter swim but nevertheless worth marking down well here's the next accessible stretch and this one looks considerably deeper though I can see up the far end I don't know if this will can we'll pick it up but there is some signs of weed at the bottom there but it's obviously a, a deeper hole these deeper holes are always worth investigating well here's a surprise a small foot bridge with what looks like the remnants of another bridge with a spectator a few yards away look how fast the water is here I don't know if it would be any good for fishing but uh, there's a seal just where this white water is well in fact there's seven seals there's one here there's one further down and then there's that section of pasture so just after the remnants of what looks like an old bridge, the old footings, it opens out into almost a weir pool I suppose. Big back eddy my side, coming down the middle, shallows up at the far end, looks ideal. Now we're at the runoff of the that little weir pool and there is a beautiful gravel bottom and stream of weed absolutely screams fish well worth knowing about now here i've come to a small footbridge and uh, it goes over well i don't know if you describe it as a feeder ditch or backwater but what you can see is it's choked now if this was cleaned out it would serve several purposes it would allow their flood water to not encroach on the field and it would provide fish with spawning places uh, and definitely um, it would provide them with shelter in floods so these little rivers are come up and down very quickly shame and here we have another small well I guess it used to be a ditch amen but what a wonderful place for fish to go to in flood to get out of the flow and uh, looking at it now it's absolutely rammed with small fish fry and minnows and whatever so yes this is the sort of thing you have to keep a look out for and the river in front of it looks lovely fast flying over a clean bottom wonderful now here we have a classic swim fast shallow glide and I've seen quite a few fish go down it that I've spooked now uh, here's another likely glide narrow looks fairly deep steady flow and just down there under that overhanging bush screams chub uh, a lot of this river does anyway let's keep looking and here we have a stretch which absolutely screams fish to me um, sadly it's um, the last sort of swim that's accessible to me um, the river then deviates away and the path goes through some woodland so whatever I hope you've uh, enjoyed this and uh, hopefully I'll be back on it with a rod I don't know about this summer but definitely this coming winter I should be paying it some attention 
So until next time, tight lines. <laughs>